I, of course, saw you on The Voice, as many people did. Well, we are now enjoying a new project from you, Unstoppable. Yes. Why Unstoppable? Why Unstoppable? Well, I have a song on the album called Unstoppable. So, of course, we recorded that first, and then they came and asked me what I felt a good name would be. And I don't know. I just felt like it would be the perfect name. I kind of feel like throughout the course of my life, you know, like I said before, God has always orchestrated my steps. And um, it just kind of seems like no matter what, has happened no matter people their opinions that they try to throw on me directions that they try to point me in my purpose still remains the same and it's almost like that's unstoppable it's not really about me not to put the emphasis on me like i'm unstoppable but the purpose that god has over my life is unstoppable and nobody can stop that so with this album i kind of just want to encourage other people in that because everybody has a purpose and i feel like in this time it's necessary to find out what your purpose is and be unstoppable in it. So that's what I'm just trying to do. <laughs> You're doing you know, it. You're doing it. Bring awareness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You work with some pretty uh, big names on, on this project. Tell me about some of your producers. For sure. So Grammy Award winning producer Bernie Herms. Love him. Grammy Award winning producer Warren Campbell. I work with Vaughn. I work with um, Aaron Lindsay, who is a Grammy Award winning writer. The list goes on. Makiba Riddick, Grammy Award winning writer. And I just, I'm super thankful to be able to work with people of their caliber this early in the game. Yeah, like this is my first, first album. Yeah. So you know, God is good. <laughs> All the Won't time. Won't he do it? Yes, he yeah. will. So yeah, I'm excited. I love that. Uh you also made an appearance on Greenleaf, I saw. Tell me about that, how that all came about for you. Um, so this was a, such a crazy process. They, my, the head of my label, Phil Thornton, shout out to him. He called me. He was like, Corinne, they want you to be a part of the soundtrack. They want you to be on an episode. I didn't have anything out yet. Wow. So I was just literally just got signed to my label. Um, I'm just like, okay, well, thank you, Lord. You know, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. I was super excited for the opportunity. Um, went over there to Atlanta. They sent me Won't He Do It um, for the soundtrack. And I just was like, this is such a great song. Went in the studio. All I remember was my mind frame in the studio. Like, you know what? Every single time I record a song, I want it to feel like it's mine, whether I wrote it or not. I don't want it to come across as a cover song. And the song related so much to my life that I just remember being in the studio like, God, thank you for what you're doing in a, in a spirit of gratefulness. And I kind of just wanted it to transfer over into the song, into the track. So being on set was incredible. The <laughs> cast was just very welcoming. And I, I kind of, um, I just like to see different worlds. Like I'm a singer, so you know, I'm very involved in my world, but I thought it was cool to kind of experience an actor's world. So that was really cool, but you know, Won't You Do It, that's how Won't You Do It came about. So that's incredible, incredible experience. If you could look in the mirror at the younger you, what advice would you say to that little Corinne about what's to come? Stay focused and trust God. I mean, I feel like I did that, but you know, I like I really would kind of instill it, like trust God through everything. Like, I feel like that's the most important advice that you can give anybody because we doubt and sometimes we get in our heads and that causes us to make the wrong decisions because we want to go our own way. So trust God, girl. He got you. <laughs>